Spokane's infamous South Hill rapist has another court fight on his hands. Kevin Coe wants a computer behind bars and now is asking a judge for a ruling in his favor. In a story you saw first on KXOI4, Jeff Humphrey was at Spokane Superior Court where Coe argues his motion next week. Well, Nadine, believe it or not, Kevin Coe's fellow inmates already have personal computers, and so now Coe's attorney is wondering if her client is being singled out because of his dubious history, including being the prime suspect in 43 Spokane rapes. Kevin Coe terrorized Spokane back in the 70s and 80s, allegedly attacking dozens of women as they walked or jogged through their neighborhoods. Coe was convicted of four of those rapes, but all but one were overturned on appeal. Coe is now serving an indefinite sentence at the State Special Commitment Center on McNeil Island, and that's where Coe is now locked in a battle with his captors. Coe was asked that he be allowed to purchase a computer at his own expense. No, it has no internet capability, so he would not be able to go online or to see any images. It doesn't have the ability to, to look at images, period. The computer Co wants also has a built-in printer. Co, who's been locked up for more than 30 years, knows he's behind the times, and that's why he prefers the simpler word processor technology. And this particular machine has a larger screen uh, than the other typewriters and the other word processors that they do allow. I think it's a 10 and, 10 and a half inch screen. It's backlit, uh, which would help reduce eye strain, things of that nature. However, the Special Commitment Center staff has denied Coe's request because the computer he wants does contain simple artwork. They're saying that there are issues with the fact that it can um, have the ability for different graphics on it, more like clip art that I believe is, is on a disc. Simply not give Mr. Coe that disc. Uh, and that would remedy that situation. So I'm not sure what the problem is. So now next Wednesday, Kevin Coe has to ask the same judge who had him civilly committed to rule in his favor. Coe has not said what he wants to do with a word processor, but it is advertised as a desktop publisher. Reporting in Spokane Superior Court, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.